The controversy surrounding rape allegations against three University of Oregon basketball players continues to shake the campus tonight as hundreds rallied earlier today in support of the alleged victim. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Matt Templeman. And I'm Renee McCullough. Students joined together and marched into the school's administration office demanding answers. KEZI 9 News reporter Sid Dutcher is live near the University of Oregon with more on their message. It's our top story tonight at 6 o'clock. Sid. Matt Renee, just before noon today, students started to gather on this lawn here behind me and very quickly there were hundreds of students standing together and outraged at the way the school handled the accusation of three University of Oregon basketball play players accused of sexually assaulting another student in March. There were moments of silence. But for much of the rally, the message was loud and clear. Hundreds of University of Oregon students stood together today supporting the alleged victim of a sexual assault that happened on March 8th. The female student told police she was raped multiple times in the same night by three UO basketball players, Damian Dotson, Dominic Artis, and Brandon Austin. The Lane County DA is not filing criminal charges in the case because he says the evidence doesn't prove a crime was committed. I only found out about this, these allegations earlier this week. And the university has known about this issue for two months now, and we haven't heard a thing about it. These basketball players who are accused of rape have been in games. They haven't been expelled. They haven't removed from their classes. Kelsey Jones is a student who was actually in a video that went viral earlier this year and won a Peabody Award for its efforts in ending sexual violence on college campuses. She and others at the rally were demanding answers from the administration. One question. Why was a basketball player under investigation for student misconduct of any kind allowed to come to UO? That was UO journalism professor Carol Stable. She was referring to Brandon Austin, who was under investigation for an alleged sexual assault at Providence University that happened before he transferred to the University of Oregon. The administration's answer? We're going to definitely look into that and get back to you as soon as we can. But right now, that's all I can say. We understand the question. It's Ralliers tell me they don't understand how something like this could happen at their school, and they hope the administration heard their message. We just want them to know that we care, and this should be a big issue for them as it is for us. This is, it's not okay, it's ridiculous, and I'm, I'm past it, and everyone should be past it, and at this point, their hand needs to be forced. And today's rally lasted for about an hour and a half. And at the end, ralliers announced that they'll be marching on Johnson Hall every day at noon until they feel like something's changed. Live on the University of Oregon campus, Sid Dutcher, KZI 9 News.